both of my eyebrows and I blended them out. So why is people texting me, y'all? Damn, bitch. Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today I recorded this look for you guys. It's kind of like my everyday makeup routine, natural glow. So yeah, um, basically let's get on into the video. So to begin, I'm going to be using my Matte Poreless Fit Me Foundation in the color 322 Warm Honey. This is going to be like the first time I'm using it in like a good year. Because I did have this before and I don't remember if this is the right color. I hope this is the right color. But um... I had it about a year ago and it was about the time when I went to the Dominican Republic and my cousin and I are the same color so uh, she was using my foundation a lot or whatever and my mom was like oh just give it to her because I'll buy you a new one when we get back to the city to New York because I'm from New York <laughs> but yeah and she never bought me one so yeah but I bought myself one today so um, I'm going to get my foundation brush so I'm going to begin by just maybe pouring a little bit on like the back of my hand I think a little goes a long way I'm not sure I haven't used it in a while a good year so yeah I think that's good enough that is more than enough so yeah I made my mirror and with like a little foundation kind of brush I think this is a foundation brush I'm not sure I got these brushes on eBay with like a little contour kit it was great my guy yeah and these are really good so I think they are synthetic I'm not sure uh, is that my color uh, can you guys even see it uh, yeah I think it's my color <laughs> I think so yeah I'm gonna put on a few strokes of that I have my mirror right here and I'm looking into the bit oh right I'm just gonna do that instead because um, yeah and I decided to start off with a bare face so I can kind of like go through everything with you guys. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Um, I think that's enough. I don't want to be too cakey right now. So with a damn beauty blender. <laughs> Why I said it like that? A damp beauty sponge, not beauty blender. I'm going to buff that in. And um, as you can see, I did conceal both of my eyebrows and I blended them out. So why is people texting me, y'all? Damn, bitch! So now I'm going to brighten up my face by highlighting with the same conceal palette that I used to highlight my eyebrows. And yeah, you can watch me do that. But um, yeah, I just buffed out all of the highlight. I feel like my face looks so ghostly right now. So what I'm going to do is warm up with some cream contour and I'll be right back. I'll do that off camera. Alright, so now I'm going to take my Avon Loose Powder. I think it's powdered foundation. Oh no, it's just loose powder. In the color, in the color medium deep. And I use this to kind of highlight... Not really highlight, but set my highlight. So yeah, I'll just take that onto the cap. I get this sponge brush that has like a sponge on the top. And I don't really wet it. Okay, so now I make sure I don't have any creases in my highlight or where I'm going to set. I really just set on my eyes, a little bit on my nose. Around my nose, my forehead my chin a little bit and over here and I just take some powder and I just put that under my eye So now that 
I do that, I'm going to take this um, Nike K New York Contour K Highlight Shade Contour. And I'm going to take the lightest color. Why do I still have this plastic in here? I'm going to take the lightest color and put that where I just, where I want highlight basically. So like right under my eyes just to brighten everything up. So I let that sit for a little while and I take I took the Avon powder again and I just lightly dusted the other areas where I didn't um, set because I do like to have you know like have it set down so when I do contour bronze whatever I'm gonna do um it's kind of not sticky and wet and you know that's just it just works better everything blends better that way so now Again with the Nike K contour kit, um, I take a little bit of the white, go right under again, and then dust everything away. And with the, it's kind of like the coolest color in the palette, this one. So I'm going to set my face with the Sephora um, setting spray. I mean, this is the only setting spray I've ever used, and I think it's pretty good. So it's a bit actually it's kind of empty. I should have bought another one, but um, it's only like sixteen dollars, and it sets my makeup pretty good. Let me just spray some out. Ooh, that feels great. So yeah, let me do it again. Just one more. Oh, I mean two more. There we go. And I'm going to let that dry. So now for highlight, I'm actually going to use this Maybelline eyeshadow. The Glow Down. Ooh. And it's like super good like for highlight. Like I don't think you guys understand. This is like thebomb.com. I got this from Ro Roxette Ariza. I'm not sure if that's how you say her name. But I got this from her, girl. You should have seen how she was glowing. Y'all about to see me glow right now. Glow for the gods. Are y'all ready for this? I don't think y'all ready. So that is it for this video. I finished off the look by applying my mascara. I was going to apply falsies, but I wanted to keep it kind of natural. And I finished um, waterlining my eye. For mascara, I used Outrageous Curl from Sephora. And for lip gloss, I used the Sephora lip gloss. Um, and the Color Bomb Diggity is like the clear one. So yeah, this is basically the finished look. I'm really glowing right now. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure to comment um, down below any suggestions because I'm new to this, so I need ideas, guys. And yeah, and also make sure you like, comment, um, subscribe to my channel if you're new, if you're old, just keep on liking and keep on sharing with your friends because I love, 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 love the support that all of you guys are giving me. So yeah, that's basically it for this video and I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye guys. Ha <laughs> ha